Okay, so here comes the next part of this paper and this next one is called 10 tips for healing low stomach acid and this is the beautiful thing that uh, if this is a problem for you which it most certainly is for many of us uh, you can do something very quickly and start to help yourself so she suggests 10 things and start off with the first one practice digestive foreplay take a moment to appreciate and give thanks for your meal then take five deep belly breaths to stimulate your parasympathetic nervous system so just relax give yourself time to be with your meal and if it, even if it means going for yourself and eating on your own, uh, that's a good idea, I think. Because often when we, because food has become such a very social thing, uh, especially since we humans don't do very much together other than eat. <laughs> so when you're with someone uh, often we eat a lot and so we're eating and, and speaking talking at the same time which is really not very, very beneficial for our digestion so uh, yeah it can be good to, to just be with ourselves when we're eating um, and the next one is chew your food she says 10 to 20 times choose per bite and some say more just make sure it gets really soft in your mouth reduce fluid consumption with meals so drink very little maybe a little bit of wine if that if that suits you well or some apple cider vinegar water you can also have with your meal but uh, usually I don't drink anything uh, with the meal um, number three. Oh, wait a sec now that's, she's had a mistake here, it doesn't matter. Next one is try food combining, a method of eating that avoids combining proteins with starches and sugars in one meal. Starchy foods and sugars inhibit the secretion of stomach acid which is needed to properly digest proteins. I learned this many, many years ago. And then I stopped eating starches, but uh, <laughs> uh, so I didn't have to think so much about it anymore because my, my, my diet became so simple. Um, but if you're having like the, the traditional, as we know it, meat and potatoes, you're actually, uh, you should be having potatoes, uh, you can have it with some fats and other vegetables, salad. It's better to have a baked potato with some salad or something and then have the, the, the meat with some non-starchy veg vegetables because it just it's like they clash and also with the sugars but I find with raw milk and kefir and fruit it's not a problem it's more it's more I think the flesh the meat proteins uh, probably also eggs eggs and potatoes don't put them together so that's something to think about also because of course the more easier digestible the food is the better everything is going to go so if you're really not your digestion is very weak the broth is just fantastic and well cooked things that you you know already feel good in your stomach have that and small meals are of course good and uh, so the next thing the next thing she says is avoid overeating which is obvious um, the next one is avoid denature proteins like heavy cooked meats, gluten, pasteurized milk and heavily processed soy protein. Avoid unfermented soy altogether because soy contains enzyme inhibitors that over time ruin your ability to digest and absorb protein. So the next one is reduce unnecessary medication use and alcohol consumption. And the next one, 
Practice proper stress management and don't eat when you're anxious. Chronic stress paralyzes the flow of your digestive juices. So, and that's what I have said so many, thing, many times before. The way we feel inside, the stresses that are in our lives, we must address them. Because um, we're really here to enjoy ourselves. But many of us, myself included, have grown up thinking that life is really just very difficult and it's okay. But actually it's not okay. We're here to really enjoy ourselves and have a good time and, and live in really, really good, loving relationships. And we can do it. So let's uh, say goodbye to these old belief systems and, and invite the new ones in, which are all about uh, the truth, which is that we're here to enjoy ourselves and love life and have a really good time. And that is what is true and natural. So making sure that things that we really are stressing us and really we should just let go of, say goodbye to people, situations, jobs, whatever it is. Uh, let's have the courage to, to let it go so that we can really get well. <clears throat> uh, and the next, the next last three ones are drink one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar with quarter a cup of water ten minutes before meals to balance the pH of the stomach and encourage healthy stomach acid secretion and if you're not going to take these tablets I'm going to show you now um, some people are actually helped by taking apple cider vinegar before a meal and one I saw on the internet was taking two tablespoons before each meal and was helped immensely. So just see what your body is saying if that's what you want to try. Eat raw fermented veggies with meals such as sauerkraut and kimchi. The bacteria and enzymes help with the digestive process. And the last one, one is drink bone broth or homemade meat stock. So I'll just get the tablets just a sec. So the next one she has here is supplement for healing stomach acid. If you have leaky gut and or are working to heal candida, this is one of the most important supplements you can take. So betaine hydrochloric acid. And this is the one I'm taking. Look at the big <laughs> jar because I have to take so much. Well actually, if you want to try it, you may as well get a whole lot. And this one is GMO free. This one is all vegan and, and plant based, but it's not GMO free, which is, I mean, you may as well go get the GMO free. Only this has much more pepsin. So you want, you want betaine HCL with pepsin. You must have the pepsin, and this has more. So, but this also has gentian bitters, which are bitters that. I'll be talking about also, this is another way that you can, instead of taking the tablets, you can, you can use bitters. And I'll be making some bitters with alcohol and herbs. And that's, I'm going to try that for myself because I think that's, that's been used for thousands of years and it's very powerful. So I don't have to read this um, because I can explain to you what to do. So when you get this, and the place I've found in, in, in Europe, the place that's best, I go to eBay, uh, Germany, and I get it from there. And it is, it, it comes from the UK, and I pay, um, um, I pay 26 something euro for the, for this jar with 360 of these. And that's, the, that's the best price I can, I can get. So anyway, you get out the capsule uh, and with your first meal, and some say it has to be a protein meal to make sure because, see, if you have a stomach ulcers and you're on certain medications, 
you, you can't use these. Don't do that because, you, because you're very sensitive. So look into which medications you can't have with these because they, they mustn't go together. You can't buy this in Denmark because you can, they don't allow it because it's, it's pretty dangerous stuff if you're, not, if you're not using it properly. So if you don't have all those problems, um, you can try it. And so with your first meal, you take a bite or two of your meal and you have one capsule. And what you're going to look for, notice, is within the next, after the meal maybe, I just lie down, just sense, just really feel my body, how I feel. And if you get a warming sensation from your stomach, you know that you have enough uh, of this hydrochloric acid and you don't have to take this supplement. Some people say that's not true, but most of them, the people who have made these videos, they say, there's one called Eric Berg, he has a really good video explaining why this is so important also, you can go and see, but there's also others. So if you feel nothing, which was the case for me, means that you need, you need this supplement, you need more uh, hydrochloric acid in your stomach. And so the next meal you have, you have two. And, and some say if you're very sensitive and very sick, uh, you should take them at the end of the meal. Uh, but I mean, if you if you're not that bad, it's it's better to take it in the beginning because that's more effective. What was I going to say? And of course, if you've not, it, it's quite important that you already do some healing of the gut, and you get into really eating very healthy food before you start this. So you've sort of got you've done the foundational work. If you're going straight from the st standard American diet into this, I don't think it's the best idea, but it probably will help you. But some people actually use it uh, to just keep eating eating bad food. And that's, I mean, that's just really a waste of money. But uh, So it's good to really focus on healing the gut also and eating very, very good food. So, but anyway, going on, if you feel nothing, you go to three. And you just keep going until you get the sensation of a burning, warm feeling in your stomach. And that's what I got. I also get... I get nausea. Some people don't get the warming, they just get uh, acid reflux. They get this uh, unusual, uh, something that they're not used to, um, feeling of uh, this acid sort of coming up. Um, so you'll sort of know, okay, something strange is happening now. Some people also just get a really heavy feeling in their stomach. So then you know you've had a bit too much. So when I have 11 with a meal, and even a very small meal, when I have 11, I get that, I get unwell, and I get the warming feeling, just very slight, but I get it. So I, I take 10, and the, you think it's just really, really mad, and it's, it is many tablets, but it, it is just acid, the acid that should be there, you're putting into your body. So I'm actually very happy to do this, and it's, of course it's going to be expensive, because it's lots of tablets. Uh, but the thing is, when you've done this for a while, you can, you, can ta you can go off them and your body will start producing it itself. This is just so beautiful. So let's just read what she says here. Let's just read what she says. Start with one capsule before meals that, that contain protein. If you don't feel a warm sensation in your stomach, take two with your next meal. Do this until you feel a warm sensation once achieved, back off by one capsule. This is your dose. Some people need to take only one capsule, but don't be surprised if you need to take seven or eight. And even some take 12, 14. I've read of one that she takes 18 with her breakfast and 22 with her dinner. It just sounds completely mad, but I mean, if you've been sick all your life and this is going to help you out of it, um, why not? There is an alternative way of fain, finding our HCL dose and that is taking the capsule mid protein rich meal, I don't really understand this, and then seeing how you feel after your meal. If you don't get the warm sensation, you'll need to up your dose. If you feel a burning hot sensation, this means you've taken too much and back off. Try both ways and see where you fit. There's also um, a test you can do with bicarb uh, baking soda. You can drink some and 
you can look up that if you want to do that but this is a good way but yeah in a way it's a lot of money to pay for one of those if you don't need it so over time as you supplement with betaine hcl you'll heal your digestive system and fix nutrient deficiencies this will all uh, this is all you have to do to produce ample amounts of your own stomach acid and you'll notice you'll be able to reduce the amount of supplementation. The goal is to slowly wean yourself off to not have to rely on supplementation anymore and this will happen. So is this not just so beautiful? Um, she says, if you're already suffering from acid reflux, have an inflamed esophagus, ulcers or gastritis, avoid HCL supplements. Instead, focus on soothing the inflammation in the esophagus and stomach by taking licorice root. There's something called DG, DGL. I just drink licorice root tea, which is really lovely, about a big teaspoon a day. And you can make a couple of... Uh, a t couple of drinks with that so you pour your water on drink it pour more water on it's beautiful uh, and for these people who can't take it use the licorice root fresh raw cabbage juice and l-glutamine so now I've read the whole thing and um, yeah I just think this is so powerful and I feel so grateful uh, and as I said um, also in another video, my plan is to take this until I can really feel that something's really happened in my body and hopefully I wean myself off them uh, and then I'm going to use Swedish bitters or homemade bitters for my digestive system. Um, but I just feel so grateful and I couldn't wait to share this with you because I mean <laughs> most of us have been into so many things and doing all these things with broth and probiotics and really giving ourselves this wonderful food it's very very important and all the emotional stuff but I mean uh, if we don't have this acid in our stomach it's uh, I mean when we get this right we should feel something very powerful happening so um, yeah this was really 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 wonderful to share with you and I wish uh, I pray for God's blessings over you and your process with your body and uh, yeah may you feel uh, that you're getting to understand your body more and more and feeling the well-being coming more and more take care my friend see you